Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel. So this is Asim here and hope you liked the webinar yesterday. So it was a meetup from OAS Bangalore and apart from me there were two other quite good speakers there. So overall the session was quite good but if in some case you might have missed the video so I have re-uploaded it on my channel so you could see it here. So it was like a hardware hack. I had a bad USB and I taught how you could create that and using that how an attacker would get access to a web camera. So that's all about this video. So go and watch that if you haven't. So in this episode we are going to talk about this. Um, so in this episode we are going to talk about this uh, stage of recon that is the port scanning part. So like we have created, we have tried to create an ideal scenario here. So the ideal scenario for port scanning would be like you first mass scan all the ports and figured out which ports are there. So mass scan is just like a tool. It could be any other tool, but the ideal scenario would be that you get all the open ports and then you drill down on that specific using the like tool of your choice, which is Nmap for me. So like if I got like these 10 ports open, so I would like want to know what are the services that are running, if there's an exploit available for them, like if it's an outdated service or if it is publicly listening. So if there are public experts available for that. So it's better to gather as much info as you could from the open ports, whatever you have found out. So you could do Nmap on those specific ports. So in the previous video on recon, that was last week, so I did the mass scanning part and I have like we also tried NABU and REST scan. However, I since I prefer mass scan, I would be showing the output and how you could pipeline that output into NMAP. The modus operandi remains the same. So you could do the same for other tools from wherever you get the output. So that's the outline of the video. And there's another announcement that I wanted to make was that I am like I'm trying to go to the shorter formats of video like I would I have a few things written like Linux mm, explaining Linux and basics of web exploitation or web exploitation terminologies like like a lot of people they are uh, like confused about basic terminologies like CSRF or SSRF or what is an XSS what are the HTTP verbs the REST API all those things headers cookies how same site cookie or same domain cookies and all those things so i am trying to make short videos like less than five minutes at max seven minutes and i would try to upload it on weekdays as well so that like i could cover a lot of ground because on weekends i try to make like videos which have depth content and a lot of content so i would be posting the like github link as well so you could add your own queries or whatever you want me to like make video on like short content if you want or if you have any question or answers so you could ask me and I could answer those questions in like those five minutes. So I'll try to make initially one of those videos every week or two videos and uh, like I would try to like see how that could be accommodated. So it's a new experiment from my side. Uh, I hope that that would be accepted way better. So let's start with this. So I have this two things like two documents md5 written so the first thing uh, you have to do is you have to set these required variables so this would be used like in the further scripting part so that's why i have this here so this is my server uh, the bug bounty server so just copy paste it i would have all these there in the on my github repo because you cannot write some of these characters in the description. So I would be posting this whole MD dot MD file on my GitHub repo. I would add the link in the description as well. So since these are all done, now let's convert this. So so let me set the context about this nmap input file nmap.sh and what where we left here in the last video. So in the last video we had this mask and file and this mask and file was um, Sorry, this mask and file. So we had mask and collected, and this mask and output cannot be directly like put into Nmap because Nmap doesn't take output like this, input like this. 
So we need to find a way so that we could convert this, process this output and insert it into nmap. So that's where this nmap input file.py comes in. So it's a simple script. What it does is, so initially the input is given like this. So you could see the initial output, initial file that was that is being plugged into this. So it has different IPs and separated by different uh, port numbers. So this is in a sorted format. So we would create this. We don't have this and mask and sorted.txt. What we have is mask and new. So you could see that the IPs are random and they are repeated, but not in an orderly fashion. What it, this input file does is it get, gets this as an input and it converts it into a mask and consumable output format. And what the sorry nmap consumable output format. So nmap uh, accepts any file or uh, any input in this format like IP and then spaced by ports on which you need to run the nmap on. So this is a small step. You could go through it in your time. So let me first um, do that. So for giving an input to this, you need to run this command. So what it does is it in, removes the initial this hashtag. So seda hyphen i hyphen e. So hyphen e is for whatever regular expression you want to remove. Hash and d is for deleting the line. Hyphen i is it does it in place. In place meaning that you it doesn't make a copy of that file. It re replaces the strings in that file as well. Sed is the stream editor command. It's quite frequently used. So I'll be making videos on small videos on this as well. So that's what I was talking about, like sed, awk, cut. These commands are quite handy to use and you would become a power bash user and you won't have to depend on a lot of scripts. So first let's create this mask and .txt file. So we have .txt.new. So what I would do is I would just rename this. There's no thing as rename in Linux. You just move the file and moving is basically equivalent to renaming the file. So now we have renamed the file dot mask and dot txt dot new. So if you run these commands, it would clean the output so that the Python file or Python script could consume that. So after you have run this, you just need to like have this nmap input file in your tools directory. So I have it here. So sorry, nmap input file. So what I will do is I will just copy paste this command and it would it has written that successfully written file to this so let me show the contents of this file so uh, if it's not really so you could see that it has written the ip and then spaced by the port numbers so this is what uh, nmap could consume so i would like in the other file the nmap.sh file what i am doing is i am reading over this file line by line and piping this out to input and nmap is running on each of these lines one by one. So let's come to the last part of this. So nmap.sh. So what the usage is. So you need this is the usage. So yeah, I think there was a lag in the internet. So so this is the usage. So basic or advanced. So I am going to talk what it is. And then here you need to pass on the domain. So I would just instead of example.com, I would pass domain because we have domain already set. Result directory is already set. And map clean file. Uh, this is where I want the file to be, right? So I could do like this. Um, so result directory domain. Oh, sorry, 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 my bad. So nmap clean file is this file, the output file where you have this. So I'm just copy pasting it. So what it would do is, so let's start this. Oh, sorry, yeah. And so nmap.sh is already in this my tools directory. So what it is doing is it is picking one IP and then scanning all these ports on that and it is doing a basic scan. So basic scan is, uh, let me show you what it is. So dollar full equal to equal to basic. So the difference between basic and advanced scan is this hyphen A flag. 
and what hyphen a flag does is let me show you and map hyphen h so if you can see sorry so hyphen a is for enable os detection version detection script scanning and trace route so script scanning is basically the nmaps internal script scanning engine so it has a lot of scripts and some of these scripts it uh, does by default when you choose the hyphen a option but since it takes a bit more time so i prefer like not doing that when i have like the short target so i would just go uh, run through of this nmap.sh file so this is the comparison here without hyphen a and without hyphen t4 it took 37.34 seconds with only hyphen a it took 47.51 seconds and when both the flags were enabled it took 48.15 seconds so don't just take word for me it was these all values were done i guess around one one and a half years back so that time i wrote this script so you could do your own research you could do change the options and you could check that so it initially creates the so this is the nmap run function so it initially creates the documentary uh, sorry the it initially creates the directory checks the file path and then runs this command so while read hyphen r line is basically parsing line by line and then ip is by cutting the with the space so the first field is the ip so you could see the first field was the ip and all the second fields are the port num ports so it's that. So that's pretty much all about this. So this is covered. I hope you like the video. So you could see that the scan is being done. It has picked the other IPs and all those. So in the end, there would be an Nmap folder where you you could see all these. So let me show you. So let me do on my first server so i'm creating a new ssh connection because i don't have screen running here if i would have that which i already suggest so i could just come out of the screen and show you the nmap folder so cd tools results hacker one so here's the nmap folder so yeah this is how, how the output would be so thank you have a nice day